one time when I didn't really have much confidence in my abilities and stuff, but um, I guess, I guess it was, yeah, 97 ITF, the first one I went in, and I'd never been in a DJ battle, I'd never really performed on stage before in front of anyone, and I, st and I still ranked fourth in the whole country, and I was like, wow, I must have some skills. I made, like, the finals. I was like, and it's like DJ Raw, like my idols at the time, like they were like amazing DJs. It's like Raw and Reese B and also Sean T from Wellington. So it's all Wellington cats and I was the only one from Auckland or outside of Wellington to even make the final. So I was like, well, I must be pretty good. Good enough to go on and catch the attention of a certain Shea Fu. On I'd see the day when you would get up out of here. He'd seen me DJ before. I was like, oh, that's real cool, man. You know, like, like what you do. You should come over and have a scratch because he's, you know, he's into scratching and stuff. So, so we go to his flat. Uh, I go to his house. He was living with his parents, and they go out the back in the shed and um, like just jam out, just play records and talk about music and practice scratches. And I appreciated him as a as a musician. So I played him some of my music that I was working on, some beats that I've made, and he just flipped out on it. Like really liked what I was doing. So he's like, man, you got to work on the next record with me. And I was like, wow, that's that's really cool. I love everything we do with the, the crates, like touring around New Zealand and getting ready to go overseas, like this year in June. So, um, and working on the on the record was like a, a big honor and just a real cool thing to do. Like, I mean, to be able to record with Shea was kind of one of my other like dreams and goals. Would be like, oh, man, if I was gonna do anything with a New Zealand artist, it would be with Shea. You know, to maybe do a scratch on one of his songs, but to produce four songs on the album and to be a full-time member of the band is like, you know, it's still a cool thing. Yeah, it's like a big privilege. Still to come, what it's like to perform at the DMC World Finals. He is no stranger to winning awards, but the biggest of his short career was at last year's World DMC Finals in London. 2001 won the New Zealand DMC Final and won the New Zealand ITF for the third year straight and went to the DMC World Finals um, in London and ranked third in the whole world, which was pretty amazing. I really didn't think I would get that high a placing. I was thinking maybe, the, like I was hoping for the top 10 and I achieved that in the daytime by passing the elimination round. I was like, cool, I've done all I need to do. When, when I stepped up and I had already felt as though I'd achieved everything I needed to, and then there was no stress. Like, all the stress was gone, and I was like, all right, I've already done it. And now I'm on stage, and like, there's lots of people, but I've been on stage in front of way more people, and like, on a regular basis, like, touring with Shay and stuff. And I was like, really comfortable, and didn't feel like I had anything left to prove. And it was only just, it was like golf, I was just playing for myself, just to get the best score I could possibly get. And so I just went up and did my set, totally comfortable, um, yeah, and made, no, like, no mistakes. <laughs> third of the world, you know? He put us on the map. It's interesting, people, like, he would go to all these battles, and people would not really know who he was. He went to Hawaii, people were like, oh, he money, oh, I don't remember him. Now people remember him. Like when the Scratch Pivots were here last week, they were like, ah, oh, P money. You know, awesome set in London and all that, you know? He's put us on the map because that name association, third in the world, that, that's big, man. It's really big for us, eh? The other thing is he's excellent producer, right? Excellent producer. Raised the level a bit on that. But there are, there are other producers here as good as him, but it's good for someone as visible as him to be raising the bar a bit, yeah. But definitely there's kids that are going to come up and put out some wicked beats, and that's a good thing, you know, and I'm into that, and I hope that happens. And I can't wait for someone else to come along and do it too, because it's kind of been me doing my thing for ages, especially in the DJ thing. It's like being me just winning everything. And um, I want, you know, but there's definitely cats that are as, as, like, as technically skilled, but maybe they don't have the other qualities that I possess to really take it to the world. I've heard some stuff he's produced recently, and I don't think that anyone could rhyme on that stuff except for Americans, because it's just amazing, eh? So I think that he needs to go overseas. <laughs> But before he thinks about that, he's got his new album to deliver, which he spent the best part of a year working on. And it has to be said, he set himself some pretty big goals for the album. Make a really good album, just one that I could be proud of and hopefully everybody else can be proud of too, being that it's from New Zealand. Um, that's my only um, kind of like goal, was just to make a really solid album, basically to make the best hip-hop album from New Zealand ever, and I think I've done it, basically. So you know, that's a pretty big thing to try and achieve, and people call me a cocky bastard for that, but they've been calling me that for years, so I don't care. Yeah, because he was telling me about, about dreams one, one time. He was telling me about 
you know, you, you can dream this or whatever and have this little dream and, you know, you can achieve it. But I, I have big dreams and I have these big things. Big things is the name of the album. <laughs> um, yeah, big big things. It's just like, just because you, you can might you might think, oh yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a song and I'm gonna put it on a tape and play it to my boys. And it's gonna be massive. It's like, yeah, that's cool, but that'll only get you as far as your block. You know, you'll be known on your block. And what can you do as a career if you really wanna make a go at, at music or at anything? You know, you have to think of the bigger picture and like set your goals as high as possible. Because when I when I was young, like in my teens. I aspired to be like in the, in the DMC competition or in the DJ battles on the world stage and do that. And you know, if I'd have told anyone at the time, like they would have just been like, yeah, whatever, you know, just kid from Papakura, big dreams or whatever, bullshit. But I, I did that, and I've done it quite quickly. So I figure, why not just, you know, it's like the impossible dreams that you know they're possible. So it's like just focus on real big things and just go for them. Big things indeed. The album's all finished and it's out in stores this week. You can also catch P Money on M2's hip hop show Full Clip on Friday night. Copies of P Money's brand new album, Big Things to Give Away, as well as DJ Severe's Major Flavors too. Go to our website, squeezetv.co.nz, for details.